This morning we're making some big ass breakfast sandwiches and Bud wanted to help me so he's helping me and he's doing the majority of the work in the beginning. First we're gonna get our bacon going. We cut the thing in half and spread out all our bacon and then we're gonna stick it in at 350 until it's done. After that, Bud's gonna help me crack some eggs in the pan and he does a really great job with this actually. We did have one spill, but that's okay. We cleaned it up right away. He loves cracking eggs. He thought it was so fun. Next we're gonna take my milk frother and we're gonna blend up these eggs cause I don't know, we just felt like it. The baby came in just in time. He wanted to help us season these eggs, so that's what he's gonna do. And then he snuck a little lick of salt. What is that? What is kids liking to lick salt off their hands about? After that though, they were bored of it and they both left. <laughs> then I stuck two pieces of bread inside the egg and I'm gonna flip it over. Once it's done cooking on the other side, I flip it over onto this cutting board and then I'm gonna flip it over again and stick some cheese on the inside. I should have put my protein in right now and I forgot, but I flipped it over into a sandwich and stuck it back in the pan to toast up the outsides of the bread. You know, this is what happens when you watch YouTube ASMR camping videos of guys doing this in the woods and making it look so beautiful and you try to recreate it the next day in your rundown house with three kids up your butt. I'm not gonna lie though, that does look pretty good to me. Also, I don't know if you know this, but you cannot reopen this sandwich and stick the protein on the inside. So they get the sausage on the side today with a little bit of fruit. And I only made these sandwiches for the boys because my daughter said she did not want them. She just wanted some toast, some sausage, and some bacon. So that's what she got. After I get these off to the boys, I'm gonna start on my husband's sandwich now. And the good thing about learning as you go is that the second time around, it's always much better. In his sandwich, I stuck bacon and sausage and he ended up pulling it apart so that he could put crunchy chili oil from Trader Joe's on it. And the best news about it is that I saved mine for last when I really knew what I was doing, so mine turned out the best. I put some sausage and sriracha on mine and then I ended up taking a bite. Look at this cheese pull. Holy crap, it is so good. And then I ended up realizing that I needed more sriracha. So I put some more sriracha on the top. That's gonna do it for our breakfast this morning. Oh my God, it was delicious. I hope you guys have a good day.